Kanga kwele ri. Because you are a girl. This common line is why girls in the Marshall Islands cannot embrace their capabilities. Women in the world are treated as inferior to men, especially in traditional societies such as the Republic of the Marshall Islands. This type of mentality is why women are hesitant in pursuing their interests in academic, social, and professional fields. Therefore, the women of the RMI are bound to the traditional ways of living and are often hesitant to grasp opportunities. Opportunities that are rarely offered in the Marshall Islands. Do you think the RMI encourages women to play sports? Why and how? Uh, I don't think they do because even during like basketball games and stuff, they always try to push the girls' games aside and let the boys play first. No, I do not think the RMI encourages women to play sports because they don't seem to take our activities seriously. I don't think the RMI totally encourages it, but it doesn't discourage it because I feel that women in the RMI, they just take it upon themselves to go out and play sports. So they haven't waited for, I know for basketball in the high school, it's not exactly encouraged for the girls to play, but it's not necessarily discouraged. So if they want to play, yes, there's freedom for them to play, but it's not like they push them like, we need to play, or there's not a lot of emphasis placed on women playing. Well, first of all, it's because we don't get enough <clears throat> girls to do things. Mm -hmm. And it never works out to have leagues. And also, like, if we do have leagues, they don't take their time with women. I don't know, they try to, like, rush through our games. Or, like, if we're late, even, like, five minutes, they're going to say, oh, you're forfeited already. For men, they'll wait for them until they all come. They encourage women to play different types of sports. Like, they sometimes don't encourage women to play, like, basketball because the way they treat women's team and men's team is really different. <laughs> That's been the goal. Uh, uh, for good reason, for example, it's been pushing girls to involve in sport. Basketball, volleyball, track and field, softball. We need more women involved in sport. The biggest thing about getting people playing sports is competition. And if you have competition, then you have excitement, you have interest, it, it generates a lot of interest. So that, you know, if you're just like, oh, here's a basketball, go shoot some hoops, you know, in the back of your house, like, that's okay. But if there's leagues running all the time and you can get a team in and you can compete and even you lose, but you see how it is, is okay, next league, we're going to do better and we know what we have to do now. Competition is what really develops players. So I think the, the lack or the shortcoming in Marshall Islands uh, is that there probably aren't enough organizers, sports organizers. And if there were more organizers, then there would be more leagues and whatnot. So as a girl and as somebody that plays basketball, what are some challenges that you face and how do you handle them? Oh, a challenge would be trying to play at CMI or anywhere with guys because they wouldn't like for real, like play for real and then just like take it easy and it's like boring. Like whenever we play with guys, they come up to us and they, they wouldn't try their best 
like when we're doing them, we try to do them. And they, they're, they're scared to handle the ball because they don't want us to do them. You know why? Because we're female. I mean, there's just, there are organized things happening all the time. I just think like if there were more, if there were more referees, if there were more of the people who support players, then we'd have, we'd have more people playing and we'd also have better players. Part of the challenge for girls has been, for example, not so much now, but maybe 15, 20 years ago, was the uh, sort of the feeling that basketball was a boys sport and volleyball was a girls sport. So you just didn't have the same push for girls to get out on the basketball court. Uh, but today, like I drive by courts and I see girls playing basketball all the time. And in fact, even, you know, mixed group, boys and girls, and the girls in there doing their thing. And it tells me that times really have changed here. Now, it isn't universal in terms of girls having the same access, because I think generally, like if you look at courts, boys are on the courts. And so the girls do better when it's organized. Although, as I say, I'm seeing more of it. And I think, you know, part of it's just because girls playing basketball, girls playing volleyball, and even softball has kind of risen to a much higher level than it was 15, 20 years ago. Now that was the kind of the assumption was that basketball just wasn't a sport uh, for girls. But I think that's changing now. The worst part about playing is that they don't we feel like we we can feel that they don't take us seriously compared to the men. I think we should have more women a part of the sports um, things. Like they should have more women in charge. The ally can create more opportunities for women by um, hosting more leagues for girls. For example, there are many leagues like U17, U15, U18, U21, community leagues. They're all for the boys, but none of them are for girls. I would just say we need more managers, more basketball, more volleyball, generally more sports managers to put on competitions so that girls like so that the girls are not an afterthought so that it's not okay boys and then, oh oh yeah, yeah yeah we'll do the girls too no it should be the same for both yeah they have u17 u15 and whatever but like girls don't and it's just from what i see i i think it's not fair i think we should also have that opportunity too the, the hardest thing for me as a coach has always been to get uh, girls and young women to change their own attitude towards themselves and on the court. That is, thinking about themselves as an athlete first when they're on the court and a girl or a young woman second. And so once we get over that, uh, we can see really great player development and I've seen it with a lot of the teams here that you know you get over it's a little bit of a psychological hurdle just because how People are conditioned to think in the community and just, you know, how island life is. Uh, but once we get over that, and I think uh, a great example of that would be the Madro Co-op School girls basketball team, which keeps winning all these championships. Ha that team has created a personality for girls basketball in the Marshall Islands. And when you do that, that helps to spread that that thinking, that way of looking at yourself uh, to other teams. And people go, wow, we could be like that. So you just have to have, you have to have coaches, you have to have players who are happy to say, I'm an athlete, I'm gonna work 200% to get better all the time. And we're gonna just show how great we can play as a team. And you keep working at it and, uh, and over time, things really do change. In the Micronesian Games in Pohnpei, they, the Marshall Islands women's team won silver. And not only that, beat Guam. 
And that's the only basketball team from the Marshall Islands to beat Guam, a women's team. The men have never beaten the Guam men's team. So what it tells you is girls can play ball in the Marshall Islands. I want the organizations to be more fair and like they shouldn't like it's like they favorite men's games. Maybe the refs can show up on time to games. Maybe if they took our team if our if they took our activity seriously there would be more teams. So how do you feel when people say that when people doubt your abilities because you're a girl? Well I try not to get in my I don't feel anything. Why? Because I know I'm good. I feel mad. I get really angry. Um, but I use that anger in my sports to show I can do it. To show I can get better. Be better than what they think. You're in my... My... Can I give up? I'm going to get to the end of the day. I'm going to get to the end of the day. I'm going to get to the end of the day. I'm going to get to the end of the day. I'm going to get to the end of the day. I'm going to get to the end of the day. Aku tidak tahu tak, kamu perlu bawa sekali cuma nak pelik, kamu perlu travel dan pergi ke sports. A lot of people tells me that I can't do it, I can't play like a boy or beat boys in basketball or other other sports. They doubt me a lot. But do you beat the boys? I do. Sometimes. And what? has been the best part about playing basketball with each other for so long. Chemistry on the court. Yeah. Do you have any words of encouragement to any girls out there? Yeah. Um, don't care about what people say, just keep doing what you want to do. Be you, try your best. Don't listen to the haters. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to Talan aku gaya nanti jar kerja ramuan di tengah hari minin jar ramuan di tengah toilet. Oh, you want to play ball? Play ball, play ball, play play any sports you want to play. Women are stronger than people. Keep practicing because you'll get better. Well, we can do what we can do. Live your life, play. We're all equal. Go girls. You just have to do it for the love of the sport, but at the same time, don't stop following for the words. Do not stop just because a guy or somebody older than you tell you that you can't do it because you're a female. You can do whatever you want.